You're watching the Auction Network. As far back as he can remember, Tom Spanky Asseter wanted to be an auctioneer. As a child, the sights and sounds of the auction taking place in the ring were so enchanting, he knew he had to be a part of it. Now, years later, Spanky is a reigning member of auction royalty. It wasn't an easy road, but Spanky is living proof that hard work and dedication pay off. If you're gonna be in the auction industry, you have to love people. You deal with people, all types of people from people just like me to multi-multi-billionaires. Spanky Asseter has become a household name among auction enthusiasts. From his trademark eyeglasses to flawless delivery, Spanky has wowed audiences for more than 30 years and appeared on some of the world's biggest auction stages, like the Barrett Jackson Auto Auctions and the Kingland Yearling Sale. Barrett Jackson in the auction industry is like the Super Bowl, like the World Series, like the Stanley Cup, like the Olympics. And for me to be the one holding the microphone to sell that inventory, those cars, that collectively, is like being the quarterback, being the winning quarterback at the Super Bowl, pitching a no-hitter in the World Series. You know, it's the best of the best. It doesn't get any bigger in the auction industry. It doesn't get any better. To truly appreciate his rise to the top though, you must follow the path that led a small town boy from Texas to become the world famous auctioneer. I was not fortunate enough to have a uh, father that was in the auctioneering business. I'm a first generation, if you would, auctioneer. So there's a lot of people that help me. It didn't take long for the auction community to take notice of Spanky Asset. After a solid showing in 1989, he arrived on the national scene by winning the 1991 International Auctioneers Championship. It was a tremendous thrill. It was, a, it was so very exciting, not only to win, but the opportunity to serve as an ambassador for that year as the international champion for our entire industry. Winning the international championship gave him instant credibility among his peers. But it was another trait that made him stand out to the public. So I used to carry my glasses in my pocket and every time I'd bend over they'd fall out. Or I'd put them in my pants pocket and I'd sit down and I'd break them. So I just got to wearing them here. The only reason that I wore them there is because I knew where they were and I wouldn't break them. And so as I started wearing them there more, it just became a trademark that my glasses were going to be here and the only reason I was wearing them is I had to have them. Well now, if I don't wear glasses, it's just like people recognize me by these glasses. Spanky met his future wife Amy at a Barrett Jackson auction and he's not the only celebrity in the family. Amy won the 2000 International Auctioneer Women's Championship. Amy being a celebrity of sorts, people were coming up and asking her for her a photograph and a signature and Jimmy Landis was up there auctioneering on this car and he is going along and somebody comes up and gets Amy to take their picture and sign this paper and Jimmy turns the microphone and he says Spanky you might have made her famous but if you're not careful somebody else is gonna make her rich and he started auction I got to thinking about that geez I better marry her it was Amy and the rest of Spanky's family that were there for him when he was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2004. Hollywood couldn't have scripted it any better. When exactly a year to the day after having the tumor successfully removed, Spanky won the World Auctioneer Championship. I know when I'm on top of my game auctioneering and, and I knew that for a number of years I was not on top of my game and we couldn't uh, find why. And, to finally get that past me and to be able to come and to practice and to practice and prepare myself for this contest and then to be victorious was just a, a huge uh, humbling experience. He looked at everybody and said, uh, this was my day when it could be your day too. And there wasn't a dry in the house when he took that trophy. Spanky has shown his gratitude to those in the industry by remembering his roots. He often teaches at auction schools across the country mentoring the next generation of great callers. The more auctioneers we have doing a better job, the more auctions there's going to be. Therefore, there's more for old Spike. It's his years of devoted service that earned him a spot in the National Auctioneers Association Hall of Fame in 2007. My biggest accomplishment is to, was doing something that I love to do while in turn providing for my family.
where else can you go and have this much fun and be paid for? I mean, I don't want to tell my big customers this, so shh, don't tell. But I can do this for free. I love it. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.